Today, I built a working helicopter pod inside build a for treasure RC helicopters are pretty cool, but having a mini-flying version for yourself is even better. This helicopter can take you anywhere throughout the build a map. With the travel tool, it makes building the propellers a whole lot easier. You can even add a carrying system and take your friends with you. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy, please check the subscribe button to see if you've subscribed. You can unsubscribe anytime later and it's completely free. Enjoy. Alright, so we're back inside of Build for Treasure and right over here we have the helicopter pod. And it's not any ordinary helicopter, but it actually has a really cool tail and the propellers are placed differently. And also if you're on mobile, this helicopter is mobile friendly so you guys can actually build it. So let's just go ahead and send in the helicopter. And basically with the flick of a switch, it turns on the helicopter like this and the propellers start spinning. So we're basically already floating a little bit over here. And now we can actually levitate in the air. And now we're rising slowly into the air and then you guys can go ahead and control this thing just like this. As you guys can see, the propeller on the top actually moves in the direction that you guys actually control it to. So let's see if we go forward, it goes forward. And if we go backward, it also goes backward with some really cool mechanics. Now the mechanics actually make it look like that this propeller is actually making this move forward and this propeller is in sync with the actual movement. So anyways, you guys can basically see that this is going to be a little bit more of an advanced build. And it doesn't actually use any like piston mechanics where there's stuff underneath you. It actually uses a different kind of mechanic where you guys can actually float above everybody's plots and the whole build -about map and all these trees. It's really cool for getting around the build -about map and you guys can also levitate down and also go back up whenever you want to. Let's say you just wanted to visit one of your friend's plots and you guys can just go ahead and go over here and we're gonna go ahead and visit Green's plot and they're a little funky. And what is Green Plots doing? They got some really weird thruster stuff going on. And what's also cool about this little mini helicopter is that you guys can actually drift everywhere that you guys want. So basically, if you move forward and then stop moving a little bit, you guys are actually drifting in the direction that you guys originally moved it. So it's a really cool effect along with this helicopter and the mechanics of it. And you guys can also pick up your friends. So let's go ahead and pick up our buddy Ionic. So I added a little bit of sea carriers over here and you guys can basically carry your friends with these. Let's go ahead and flick on the helicopter again and let's start levitating. And we're also carrying this little plushie over here along with Ionic. And I'm pretty sure you guys can basically pick up anybody on any team. Ooh, there's a guy over here. Hop in, bro. Oh, we got some people on the helicopter now. Bro, this is actually so sick at, with actually carrying people. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and fly in the stages. I'm not really sure if this thing can make it to the end since it's mainly made out of plastic, but I'm pretty sure we could just float above all the stages with these mechanics and we could go ahead and carry these people outside the build a boat map. So anyways, you guys get the gist of what this helicopter does and how it functions. So let's get straight into building it. All right, so for the materials, you guys will be needing titanium, plastic, the old legacy car wheels, boat motors, balloons, servos, a switch, and I think that's all for the materials. Anyways, let's just get on with the tutorial. So first, just start out by placing any block, just like so. And then make sure to have your skill tool out so you guys can see your studs. And then you guys just want to scale up until 10 studs. Studs are in the bottom left middle, by the way. As you guys can see, it says 10. Then you guys want to go ahead and grab your titanium block. And then you guys want to scale it out two times on each side. One, two. Then just scale it out until 13 studs. After that, go ahead and get your plastic block. Click on the titanium with the scale tool and place a plastic block right in the center of it. Then scale it up until eight studs, like so. We're gonna work on the design now. Make sure to have your merging level as red and place a plastic block on top of here. Scale it down one time. And then we're gonna scale out three times on each side. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and you guys should have eight studs. Next, put your rotate onto 45 degrees, tilt one time, and then place a plastic block on the corner of this. Put your move on to 0.5 and place it just like so. Scale up once and then scale all the way up. Then we're just gonna even it out. Place the plastic block right here, scale it in, scale all the way in and scale down. Next, we're gonna get our glass block. So go ahead and place one right here. We're just gonna scale out like this, scale out. Then make it engraved into this plastic block just like so. So you guys should have this shape. And then after that, scale it out until seven studs, like so. After that, go ahead and get your plastic block. We're gonna place one on top like this. Scale down one time, scale all the way down. Then scale out until eight studs. Now we're gonna get another plastic block. Put your rotate on to 15 degrees. Rotate four times, so one, two, three, four. Place a block right there. Scale in one time, scale all the way in. 
then scale out just like so and then you guys should have this then you guys want to click on 0.5 scale so just change it to 0.5 scale up one time scale out one time just like so on the top and the bottom so this one should be 7.5 studs this one should be 8.5 studs after that set your move to two and we're gonna place a block right here just like so and then we're gonna put our move on to 0.5 and then we're gonna place another block right here just like this and then we can delete this block then we're gonna go ahead and get our servo so we're gonna just gonna get it right here put your rotate on to 90 degrees rotate just like so and then tilt like so and you should have a little part of the gray sticking out like this after that, go ahead and get another plastic block. We're going to place it right on top of the server like this. Then scale all the way down with 0.5 scale. After that, place another block on top. We're going to put our... No, not our move. We're going to put our scale onto 1. We're just going to scale in one time. And then we're going to scale this all the way up until 6 studs like so. Then we're just going to add another plastic block right here. Scale up and then scale out one time. So now we're going to get our legacy car pack wheel. So we're going to get this right here and we're just going to tilt it, um, tilt our screen down like this. Then we're just going to place it over here. I think it'd be better to put our move into one. We place it right here. It should look like this with a little part of the gray sticking out. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and go over here. You guys want to tilt one time with rotate as 15 degrees. We're going to place a block right here, just like so. We're going to scale it in, scale all the way in, just like this. Then we're going to scale up until 6 studs. Then we're going to put our scale on 0.5 and scale win one more time. Then we're going to place another block on top of here. We're going to place it on this edge like this. And after that, we're going to scale it down one time with 0.5 scale. And after that, scale all the way down, just like so. Yeah, I should have something like this. I'm actually going to get a jetpack and we're just going to fly up here. So it makes it easier for to do the next steps. So after this, we're going to place a plastic block inside of this wheel, just like so. We're going to scale up with 0.2 scale, just like this. And you guys should have a little gap like this. And then after this, you guys are going to place another block uh, right here. Then we're just going to scale up one time with 0.2 and then scale all the way down. So it should be even with this plastic block like so. Then we're going to get our 0.5 scale. I'm actually going to hop down right here, get 0.5, scale in one time on each side, then change it to 0.2 and scale in one time on each side and then another time. Just like so. So you guys should have this. Then we're going to scale the even length on the other side. Like so. And then we want to make this um, propeller 32 studs long and have it in the middle. So we're just going to scale out and play around with it until we get the center. So this is 31 studs. It's not in the center. We have to do one more right here. That's not the center. Let me just move this over here a bit. Move this. And I'm pretty sure that's the center of the whole helicopter. Now after this, we're going to place another plastic block right on top of here, like so. Then we're actually going to put our scale into 0.5. We're going to scale all the way in, like this. Put your scale onto 1. We're going to scale out 3 times. Then we're just going to place another plastic block right here. Put your move on to 0.5. Place it like this. Scale on 0.5. Scale all the way in. Then scale it out until 7 studs, like so. Then we're just going to place another block like this on this side. Then you guys want to put your scale onto 1. We're going to scale out one time and scale all the way in. Then we're just going to put our scale on 0 0.5 and just connect these pieces. And then put your scale back to 1 and then we're just going to scale out 2 times on the side. 1, 2. After that, we're going to place our wheel. So let's go ahead and get our legacy car pack wheel. So put your move onto 1 and then we're just going to place it right here and then go down one time just like so. So you guys should have something like this. Then we're just going to get another plus block. We're going to place it on top of the wheel. Then just scale all the way in like so. Scale down one time like this. Then we're going to start making the propellers for the back. So you guys don't want it connected to the helicopter, but you guys want to connect it to the wheel. But first we're going to align it with the helicopter. So let's go ahead and place a block on the helicopter like this. Then we're just going to put our scale onto 0 0.5. We're going to scale all the way in. Then just switch over to 0 0.2 and scale one time in like this. Go to 0 0.5 again. Then we're just going to scale one time in on each side. 0 0.2, one time, one time, one time, one time. After this, you guys should have something like this. So now put your scale back to one and we're just actually going to scale up one time on the top and the bottom like so. Then use your trial tool. We're going to move it over here like this. 
but we're actually gonna put our move on to 0.5 so we can just align it right there then we're gonna use the clone tool we're gonna clone it up like this we're gonna clone then we're gonna clone it down like this put it back in then we're gonna put our rotate onto 90 degrees like this then we're gonna use the blue we're gonna drag it until it's 90 degrees then we should have it something like this after this, you guys are just going to put your scale on to 0.2. Then we're just going to scale out two times. So one, two, just like this. Make sure that this isn't connected and then you guys would be good to go. Now we're basically done with the hard part. Let's go ahead and get our boat motors now. You guys can use any boat motor. I'm going to use a normal boat motor for those of you guys who don't have the ultra boat motor. So you guys are just going to place one right here, one right here, and one right here. Now we're going to go ahead and get another plus block. We're going to place it on the center of this. We're going to scale up one time. Then we're going to scale out until 12, like so. We're going to get another plastic block, place it, scale in one time. Then we're going to scale it all the way up until 60 studs. So we're going to get 60 studs right here. Then place another plastic block on the side, scale up one time, go up around 19 studs, like so. Then what you guys actually want to do is place another plastic block on top of this. So you guys should have it like this. Then just scale all the way up like this. So it should be aligned with this block right here. Like so. Then just scale all the way up like this. So this will be your center point. So what you guys want to do is scale back a little. So you guys want to actually make this uh, scale to 1, 2. 1, 2. Then 1 and one then just scale this back like this so it should be 19 studs right here this should be four one and six you're gonna go ahead and place a balloon on top of here so you guys can place it anywhere i'm gonna place it right here and right here then after that put your scale onto 0 0.4 then on the first balloon scale up one time then on the other one put it on 0 0.42 and then scale up like this now you guys are basically done with the whole helicopter, so now it's time for binding. So we're going to go ahead and get a switch. We're going to place it on the outer edge like so. Then we're just going to place another switch on top of here. Then as you guys can see, it connected to the servo. You guys want to disconnect it with your binding tool, click the servo, then click this switch. Then we're, you guys are going to get a car seat. We're going to place it right in here. Again, it connected to the servo, so we're going to disconnect it like this. Then after that, just delete this switch right here. Now you guys are just going to select these boat motors. Then we're going to connect it to the seat. On mobile, nothing will show up. But on computer, just go ahead and put backward as S, right as D, left as A, and forward as W. And then after that, go ahead and select the balloon on the top. Select the one that you scaled 1.42, which is this one. And then click on the seat like this. Activate as F on mobile. It won't show anything because you guys are just going to activate it with the red target tool. And after that, click on these two wheels and click on the switch, and then that should be connected. Then click on this balloon, the smaller one, and then click on the switch like so. And then the last step is the servo right here connected to the wheel. On mobile, it might be a little bit funky, but on computer, click W as left and S as right, and your propeller should turn forward and backward. If you guys built an anchor block, you guys can go ahead and actually delete this wood block now. Then you guys want to select all and then deselect this one right here and then turn off collision like this. So the only thing that should have collision is this block right here. Now from this, we're just going to do a little adjustments with the screwdriver. We're going to click on this um, servo and then we're just going to put the servo angle as 20 degrees. Now we're actually going to be working on the tail. So we're going to go ahead and put our rotate onto 45 degrees. Um, there we go. Okay. So you guys should have your block aligned like this. Rotate one time, like so. Then we're just going to scale it in. But we're going to put our scale back to one. We're going to scale in, scale down, scale all the way down, like this. Then you guys just want to scale down one time, like that. Now that you have this, go ahead and put your move on to 0 0.5. We're going to place a block right here. Scale up, scale all the way up scale out like this so two one four studs go ahead and do the same thing right here 45 degrees rotate up and then all the way in then you should have this little tail looking thing so then go ahead and place a plastic block right here scale down scale all the way down 
Rotate 45 degrees like this. Put your move on to one. Rotate 45 degrees. Scale down, scale all the way down. And then, then we're gonna add an additional block. Put your move on to 0 0.5, rotate 45 degrees. We're gonna place it right over here, like so. Do the same over here. Place it right here. Okay, that was perfect, but this one wasn't. Let me just fix this one. And I don't think I can make this one perfect. Oh, there we go. So we have these aligned like this. I have your scale on to one. Scale up one time, scale in, and scale all the way in. Scale in, scale all the way in, scale up, scale in, and scale in. After this tail, we're just gonna um, thin everything out. Put your scale on to 0 0.5, scale up, scale up, scale up. And then we're just gonna scale these ones up, like this. And there. Then we're gonna add the fin. Make sure your rotate is on 15 degrees. We're gonna rotate five times, like so. We're gonna put it on this edge, like this. We're gonna scale in on 0 0.5, one time on each side, like this. Put your scale on 0 0.2, do the same thing. Scale in two times on each side, like this. Put your scale on to one. We're gonna scale down, scale down, like this. So you guys should have this fin looking thing. Then you guys can make it like this, and there we go. Then we're gonna add some lines. Go ahead and place a block on each side like this. We're gonna scale 0 0.5 one time on each side. Oops, that was two times. One time on each side. Then on 0 0.2, scale it two times on each side. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then I'm just gonna scale all the way down with 0 0.5 scale like this. We're actually gonna go on 0 0.2 now. We're gonna scale down one time like this and one time like this. And now we're basically done. So we just have to select things that we don't want to see invisible. So we just select this like this, transparency 100%. You guys can shift click on PC. I'm pretty sure on mobile you have to select one by one on what you have to select. So we're just gonna select all this stuff like this and we're just gonna select all of this. And then we're just gonna put transparency on 100%. And I missed this little block. Let me make that invisible. And you guys are pretty much done with the build. So go ahead and select all again. Deselect this one and turn collision off because of the tail that we added. Go ahead and save your little pod. There we go. And now we're finally done with the tutorial. So you guys can go ahead and have fun with this thing. All you have to do is just select all on anchor. And then you guys can hop in. Then just flick out the switch and then you guys should start levitating like so. If you guys want to go higher, you guys can also click F to go even more higher, which activates the second balloon. And you guys can basically move around just like so. As you guys can see, you guys have yourself a working flying little pod. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.